G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. There is nothing nicer on a cold day than a lovely hot chocolate. It even works on a hot day too. But it can get a little bit boring, so I'm going to make it a little bit more interesting. So join me today as I make my version of an orange scented hot chocolate. Okay, so we're going to do this in a pot on a medium heat. So into this pot, we're going to place in two cups of milk, skim milk, full cream milk, that's completely up to you. Then 100 grams of dark chocolate. Now you can use milk chocolate if you like, but considering that we're using two cups of milk, I highly recommend that you use dark chocolate. Then to that, one tablespoon of sugar. That just adds a little bit more sweetness because the dark chocolate isn't an overly sweet chocolate. And finally, our orange rinds. Now I've just used a normal peeler to peel off these orange rinds. Now I'm using rind instead of the actual orange juice itself because we just want to add the scent of the orange. If we use just orange juice, all it's going to do is dilute the mixture. But using the orange rinds is perfect for adding that scent of orange. And we're just going to continue stirring this until the chocolate is melted. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up to a higher heat. But we don't want to overdo it. We don't want to boil the milk, otherwise it's going to curdle. So we're just going to keep on stirring this just until it gets to the point just before it starts to boil away. Okay, so it's heated up nicely. And it's given it plenty of time for the orange peels to infuse inside that lovely, lovely chocolate. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this off the heat and we're just going to let it cool down for a few minutes. Then no hot chocolate will be complete without some marshmallows. Now it's time to give this a try. Oh, that's delicious. That is absolutely delicious. That is a lovely creamy texture of chocolates. Then you have that touch of orange essence. This hot chocolate truly does taste delish. And it was so easy to make. So please give this one a go because I guarantee you're going to love it. And if and when you do it, please do me a huge favor by posting a photo on my Facebook page because I'd love to see it. And as always, thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. A list of ingredients are down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus pages. Please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up and leave a comment, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe. Mm -hmm.